Just want to go over something that happened on my welder. This might save somebody some trouble. I have this Thermal Arc uh, Fabricator 210. It's been a great welder. I bought it used. This was whenever they were owned by Thermaldyne. They've since been bought, bought out by Victor Technologies. I was having a bunch of uh, the trigger. The, the, the fan would always come on by when I would push the trigger from the, on the gun. Sometimes it would feed wire, sometimes it wouldn't. And it would just progressively get worse over the years. Sometimes you could turn the machine off, turn it back on. Just wait a second. It was just real erratic. And then it had gotten to where lately the wire feed speed was real erratic. So, <clears throat> of course, I didn't fix it until it got to a point where it wouldn't feed at all. I thought it was the trigger. Pulled that all apart, bypassed it at the machine. I used a jumper wire. There's only there's only two wires in here, two connections. Jumped that, couldn't get it to go. So I knew it was something internally in the machine. This board, uh, it actually controls um, the wire feed motor and some other things. It's just what they call a PCB printed control board or uh, I believe that's what, what it stands for. But I called them this number right here, the 79779640 doesn't exist with Victor Technologies anymore. They changed the part number, got the new one. It was 200 bucks. I didn't really want to risk 200 bucks just to see if that was the problem. So I was going to come out here, hook everything back up. I looked at every component on here and couldn't find any component that looked like it was messed up. No circuits that uh, looked like they were having problems. No capacitors that were blown up. So what I was going to do is just put it back together and use my multimeter to try to figure out if everything was getting the correct voltage. Put it back together, just tried it, and it worked. So then it was working intermittently, kind of back to the way it was before. But the wire feed speed was, was messed up. So I called them thinking that maybe the this potentiometer was messed up. There's three connections on the back. The outside two are your voltage in, and I was getting 3.25 volts. I thought it was kind of low. By talking to them, they weren't really sure what the voltage number was, but we were thinking somewhere around 10 volts. So I thought, okay, that leads me back to the board. Maybe this board isn't putting the correct voltage out going to the potentiometer. Um, so then I was going to diagnose, but the switch was working. Whatever the voltage coming in was, it was going from zero to 3.25. So I knew the switch wasn't a problem. So then these are the connections for the motor where it inputs the the voltage the voltage changes to speed the motor up slow the motor down this is your wire feed motor right here and when i started messing with this connection everything cleared up <laughs> so i'm pretty sure it was just some dirty contacts on the board i mean it works perfect now works perfect I'm about to put this back together. I just wanted to shoot a quick video so that if anybody else is having this problem, just go in here. If you, if you take this board off and you see any of these capacitors that are blown up or whatever, that's a $205 board. Victor won't sell it to you directly. You'll have to buy it from a welding supply. I'll try to get that. I have that part number written down somewhere. I can't remember what it, what, what it is, but if you call Victor and give them that part number right there, the 79779640. They'll tell you what the new part number is. If I can't find it anymore, because I don't need a new board. That could be your potentially your problem. But check all this first. These connections right here on my machine seem to be loose, and I'm gonna I'm gonna replace them. I'm gonna change those out before I put this all back together so that I don't run into this problem again. Well, that's what I figured out, and it just turns out. Looks like it was a bunch of loose connections. About to pop it back together and start welding again. This is a great machine, by the way. I was about to replace it with a Harbor Freight uh, wire feed Vulcan, but uh, I'd rather, way rather keep this machine, especially if I can fix it for a couple hundred bucks. That's all I got. Thanks.